Disclaimer. A boogie woogie woogie woo. Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the click. Did I scare you in a oddly terrifying way? Yes? Ah, that is excellent, because that is the theme of today's video. Welcome to r slash oddly terrifying. Terrifying things found around the world. Some of the things are genuinely fascinating, some are very uneasy to look at. So I figured we would do it together so we can give each other some nice emotional support. Where's my emotional support demon? Emotional support demon! Ah, one of 50. This one can be with me today. Enjoy, everyone. Mwah. So here's a little video of a kitty. There is something odd about this cat. It looks like... It looks like it has some kind of, I don't know, uncanny valley vibes. The eyes look human, don't they? Did you just turn someone into a cat? This look... It looks like it has human eyes, doesn't it? What the hell? If you use metamphetamine... Metamphetamine... Frick! If you use metamphetamine... If you use methamethamines, go. <sighs> methamphetamines. Oh, nailed it. Methamphetamines. Crystal meth, crank speed, glass tweak, yaba. Within 12 hours of a dental appointment, you need to tell us because dental anesthetic will kill you. Really? What? Wait, what kind of chemical reaction does that have? What does it actually turn into? Something poisonous, I guess. That is so weird. So here's a little innocent picture of like a neighboring house and there's a lot of flies. I don't like what that implies. A lot of flies like this usually is connected to like uh, flesh and in the context of a closed house. That's not promising. A month ago, I became friends with a crow. <laughs> Today, he brought me the skull of another crow. Oh, how shiny and beautiful. I am your only friend. Can you imagine that? It's kind of like, you know, your, your partner brings you the skull of your ex or something like this. <laughs> there can be only one. Obsessive ex crow. Now I've seen it all, baby. Ooh, I love myself some nightmare fuel. This is the kind of stuff. You would make up in your own brain after watching too many documentaries about the nervous system. What if the nervous system could extend itself through your skin and become tentacle? Oh, this is a horrifying creature. I imagine hugging something like this or maybe it hugging you. I'm not sure if I would hug this voluntarily. And then all this kind of stuff like is seeping through your skin and then you kind of mesh and become one with the <laughs> with the nervous system walker. <laughs> oh, new plushie idea. Wow. Everyone would love that. Chicago Metra UPN track carries 34,000 passengers on 70 trains across this bridge every day. Look at that little rusty boy. I'm sure it's fine. That's gonna hold just perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. The snow in the Wizard of Oz movie was 100% pure asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says beautiful Christmas snowy vibes. Like a little bit of cancer. Is this gonna be some new kind of rule? They usually say like, don't eat the yellow snow because it might be urine. It could also be beer, so maybe it's worth it. But what is this? Like, don't eat the snow because you gotta get cancer. This high-rise tower in China isn't a housing block or a prison. It's a pig farm. Wait, this whole thing is a pig? Oh my God. This is absolutely nuts. It's so huge. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This feels like an uncanny valley for buildings. It's like, oh, you think this is a huge apartment complex? Nope, it's all pig cages. What? She's just a little kitty sitting up. Come on, Stacy, get up. It's time to feed kitty. Don't make the kitty turn more human and do it himself. You want to keep the kitty cute, don't you? <laughs> this reminds me of my cat. Here's a picture of Simba sitting <laughs> like a human in the couch. He does this all the time. It's absolutely amazing. It's such a chonker. I love little Simba chonker. He has diabetes though, but it actually kind of helped with my needle phobia because then I could like practice with needles on something that isn't human. And that actually kind of helped. It helped my phobia a bit. I still passed out though when I was getting the COVID vaccine. I scared a nurse. She was like, don't fall over me. You're, you're big. You're probably gonna crush me. And I was like, please. <laughs> <gasps> we got little Bambi. Oh, go Bambi. Go. You're such a good boy. Oh, Bambi is adorable. Oh, what is that? Huh? What the hell? What happened to Bambi's mom? Oh my god, what the? No! What was that? That is awful! It looks like Bambi's mom survived after all. She literally risen from the dead. Isn't that a plot point in Game of Thrones? When Kathleen Stark rises up and has like her zombie arm and all that kind of stuff. Spoiler! Ah, whatever, it's kind of old. Uh, isn't that the same thing that happened here? Bambi's mom just rises up and creates a zombie army of dead deer. <laughs> 
Man, we're just making spin-offs here. This is amazing. Who wants a zombie Bambi plushie? <laughs> I, need to, I, need to, I need to chill with the plushies, man. This container transports a disease which has no cure. And then it's just the common cold, because the common cold doesn't technically have a cure. Unless they mean something bacterial, then it's completely different. Then it's like, uh, really spooky. Oh, is this how the new zombie apocalypse is gonna be? Ooh, how enticing. I say new zombie apocalypse. You, you can interpret that um, however you want. This is Point Nemo, the spot farthest away from any land in the world. You are closer to astronauts aboard the ISS than humanity. That is so eerie. It really speaks to how big oceans are on Earth. Because you don't really think about it, right? Because we just spend time on landmass because we're little land crabby, dry little fricks. But it's so massive. That is so spooky. Speaking of spooky oceans, don't you hate it when the ocean comes to your front yard? Here it is! Woo! Look at Grandma just sitting and watching it like, ah, this fine, <laughs> just a regular Tuesday. I remember some people commented on this when I said in a video or stream or something, when like, oh, I went out jogging yesterday, it was nice, some drizzling Swedish rain, it was kind of nice, cooled you off, you could run for a long time, and then someone was like, you've never ran in Florida rain, have you? I imagine this is what they mean. <laughs> If you go out jogging in this, it's probably a bad idea. La da 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 da. Oh, hello there. I'm just out picking Swedish wild strawberries while listening to the click videos in my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycon Earbuds give you a total 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life total in the neat little package. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Use earbud tap functions to toggle between three customizable sound profiles. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns, with a variety of fit options, no dangling wires or stems. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg are obsessed with them. Wow! So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash to click to get your pair today. Thank you so much Raycon for sponsoring this video and now back to aimlessly wandering the wilderness. Mwah. Oh, Katy per Perry? What's going on with the... Wait, what's... This gives me like Android vibes. Oh my god, what? No... What? What was that? I mean, if I, if I were to guess, maybe it's something like the glue holding the lashes that like stuck. So it's like, you can't really open your eye, something like that. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. But it looks so mechanical. This is the AI revolution. All the influencers and popular figures are gonna be AI. I mean, that's not even a joke, is it? I imagine in like two years, so many up-and-coming YouTubers and big channels and stuff are just gonna turn out to be AI people. It's like, oh my god, how is this click knockoff channel managing to upload five videos a day? That's amazing, he's so ambitious. And then two years down the line, they get cancelled because it turns out it's not a real person. Is this actually the future of YouTube? Oh my god! Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that is the future of YouTube. <laughs> Hi, citizens of the city, join me in the soul realm. What even is this? Wait, this is like a, this is a street light that's completely grown over by something. That is so spooky. This gives me like inspiration for creepypastas. A 10 year old actor, Asa Butterfield, in a chamber scene of The Boy in the Stripe and Pajamas 2008. He said, I remember being in a room full of men, some of whom were completely naked and it was dark, and they shut the door on us and it was just awful. And here's the scene with all the people being squeezed in. That is absolutely terrifying. That is so terrifying. I feel like one of those fish in one of those really crowded fish farms when it's just like, ooh, how nice, I have this much personal space. <laughs> Great. Abandoned Tori Gate found at the end of a submerged tunnel in Japan. That looks so creepy. Oh my god, this is definitely haunted. This is definitely haunted. I know one topic bought a bunch of ghost hunting equipment a while ago. Like the kind of stuff we use in Phasmophobia, like EMF readers and weird things and parabolic microphones and stuff. We should go ghost hunting IRL and make a video about it. That would be super nice. I would just try to summon demons the whole time. Just, hey, what up demons? It's your boy. You see? I'm gonna bring an emotional support demon with me when we do that, though. Mwah. Let me know in the comments if you want the emotional support demon to come back. We're also working on Cerberus Duck. Hopefully the Cerberus Duck plushie comes out soon. I need to figure out a way to make the plushies like a permanent thing in stock. That'll be so much fun. Maybe I can, like, make it work between my merch places. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Don't worry about it. So here we go. This is a internet cafe in North Korea. 
So you can see that they've just planted a bunch of people with a bunch of desks, working on their computers, looking all busy. But if you look closer, you can see that they're not actually doing anything. I'm not even sure if these computers are real, you know? It's that wild. So here's some guy just sitting and looking at the Google homepage. That's it. He's just looking at Google. It's like, oh yeah. It's just like a screenshot of Google or something. I don't think, even think they have Google Access in North Korea. And they're just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, this is a real internet cafe. Internet cafes don't look like this. It's like, it's way too structured. This looks like a really strict office. This is so, this is so eerie, man. God. This appeared in my dreams the other night. Couldn't really describe it, so I had to go drawing it instead. Wasn't aggressive, just stood there, blocking a path at night. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's a bit of a facepalm. Aha! Ah, I'm still funny. Sometimes dreams or nightmares have like the weirdest implications. I remember I told a small story time in a video from years ago. Uh, I don't think even many people remember it if they're still watching me. And I had this dream that I lived in a small cabin above a village, probably in Switzerland or the Alps or something like that. That was the rough terrain. And this cabin was overlooking the small town, like down in the valley. And they had this emergency signal go out on the TVs and radios, like, abandon the village right now, you have to leave right now, pack all your things, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, a typical grumpy old man in my cabin. I was like, I ain't no leaving for no BS, it's, prob it's probably nothing as usual. And then I wake up in the middle of the night to a bunch of weird noise. And I look down in the town square that I can oversee from my house, and I see like a bunch of horse people. It's, it's like there's it's horses walking on two hind legs, but they look really deformed and like uncanny valley-esque. And then I see one like human man like panicking in the village trying to get away. And there's another horse charging him, but it's more like a dog. It's like a mix between a dog and a horse or like a wolf and a horse. It has a big fangs and, and teeth and all that kind of stuff. And it's running and it's really predatory. And then they eventually start making their way up to my house. I'm like, whoops, I think something saw me. And then when they start getting to my door, I wake up. So that was a interesting dream. It makes for a really cool animation project, I think. So, so maybe that's something for the future. Pontus City Apartments in Johannesburg, South Africa, the tallest residential building on the African continent. That looks more like a, like some big prison from, from some kind of fantasy movie. Is this just Azkaban? <laughs> Looks like Azkaban, man. R slash oddly terrifying. Signature evolution in Alzheimer's disease. So we see here at the top, it's like pretty normal and then it's slowly degrading. And they finally start just writing in all caps, kind of like a child. And then it just devolves more and more. And at the end, they can't even write out their whole name. That is so sad. I have seen similar things in, in family members and it's always really painful. I haven't seen Alzheimer's in particular, but I have one family member down in Germany a few years ago that we visited every year when we were traveling through it. And the last year I saw them, um, they had spiraled really fast. They went from living at home the year before, being perfectly normal, functioning. And that was the last time I saw them and they were in an elderly home. And they couldn't even like name the family members that came there. And it was horrible to see because they were self-aware enough and self-conscious enough to kind of understand what was going on. They were self-aware enough to the point that they knew everything was wrong. And that was terrible to see. It's like, if your mind goes, at least you can be like, you know, blissful ignorance, just blabbering around. But but this was so horrible to see because they were not like there enough to really talk, interact properly, but they still knew enough that it was wrong. It was heartbreaking to see. I hope I never have to experience that because it seems awful. I live on part of an old rice and cotton plantation. I know a slave cemetery is somewhere in the area, but no records surviving showing precise location. We got a ton of rain a few days ago. This was uncovered by the water after a few feet of erosion. So here's like a mysterious little path down there. And it looks like, what even is this? Is this like a door? Or is it like coffins? I don't know what this is. This looks so creepy. Is it gonna be like an Indiana Jones underwater thing? Let's let's just go deep diving into this like flooded cemetery. That sounds like a blast fun for the whole family. This was New York City earlier today, which was temporarily ranked number one for the worst air quality in the world due to the wildfires in Canada. Look at that, you can barely see it. You can kind of make out a silhouette and a little boat there in front of it. Isn't that beautiful? That's what you get. We're gonna burn all the maple syrup. <laughs> no, but that's, uh, that's absolutely terrible. Jesus Christ. This reminds me of when they had the wildfires in Australia. You know, how it looked in Sydney and that kind of stuff. It's, everything is just yellow. Oh, is this a formation of a tornado? Oh, I think it is. 
Oh, that is so mighty. You really feel tiny when you watch something like this. And it appears right next to you? Oh, no, no, oh, Jesus Christ. You really feel so tiny and powerless when you see these kind of things and just the magnitude of the power. Uh, respect Mother Nature. See, she's a, she's a really buff girl. <laughs> she's a dummy mommy. <laughs> well, that's, that's a prompt for some AI fan art if I've ever seen one. My husband was working in the crawl space of our 1901 home and almost crawled into this uncovered well. The well starts right at the opening of the hole. There is no lip or anything, just a straight drop. And here's the next picture and shows that he just goes straight down. So if you're just crawling in this crawl space, fixing things, and all of a sudden you just fall into like an ancient well. That is so horrifying. And there's like no modern stuff. How do you even get out of there? Is it even big enough to like climb? Because I imagine it's so cramped that like your limbs are kind of stuck. This, oh, I'm gonna stop talking about it. This gives me the spooky wookies. Next! Walked a mile of one way around an inaccessible road for work. Got to the top of a hill and found an abandoned trailer. A dog started barking at me, but I couldn't figure out where it was. I started to get creeped out and felt like something was watching me. Zoom in on the small double window. Okay, so here's the place. Yeah, it looks kind of like a weird abandoned trailer slash per Wait, what is that in the window? Is that a face? What the hell is that? I think you just bumped into some real-life creepypasta stuff. Good thing you uh, walked away. Is this gonna be some kind of curse thing following you around? Good luck. Look at this innocent little spoon. You can cover it like this. If you find something you think is an ancient coin in the sand, do not touch it. It might be spooder. A sweet potato dug up from a garden. Ooh, that is a sweet potato indeed. <laughs> You know your garden is cursed when your vegetables are starting to look like limbs and dismembered humans. <laughs> they are. Welcome to my potato garden. Here's something that looks like a foot. Here's a little face. Ooh, this one looks like a brain. What a treat. This could be like a Halloween thing. <gasps> That'd be amazing. Imagine specializing in deformed potatoes and you just like serve limbs, but it's just pure potatoes and vegetables. That'd be so good. This is a business idea. This is how Mercedes Benz advertised their strong headlights. Do they do I really want to x-ray things on the road, though? <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do this. This is really weird. Ah, Timmy, look at the lady on the side of the road there. You can not only see through her dress, you can see through her flesh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is, this is like a different level of macabre perviness. <laughs> Please. Men of Reddit, what do you think is more painful than childbirth? I mean, the question is a bit weird. Shouldn't you ask, like women who have experienced it like women who have given birth have you experienced anything more painful anyway uh, dismissing that part of it acute radiation poisoning fun fact it is impossible to administer painkillers effectively once your body starts decomposing with you still alive inside of it there is nothing but pain left man that was so fun what a fun fact to read oh i'm so glad that i learned to read this is why a woman's glove from 1850s in London, used for self-defense. That looks like it would hurt. Is this just like a retro version of Catwoman? <laughs> it feels like it. Okay, honey, I'm just gonna take off my evening gloves in case someone is a little touchy rascal. <laughs> ah! Wait, so it's just... Oh my god! Oh, it's a three-legged puppy. So it's kind of learned to walk on two legs sometimes. That is super cute, but that is so... Seeing that in the middle of the night coming out of the dark, that is... I mean, I love puppies, don't get me wrong, but this would give me a heart attack. Jesus Christ. Everyone at the doctor's office gathered around for my x-rays because no one has any idea why part of my fibula is just straight up gone. Wait, what is... Why is it missing? Isn't it supposed to be... I mean, even if you broke it, isn't it supposed to be there somewhere? Did it, like, fly out of your flesh? What the hell? A kidney stone surface as seen in an electron microscope. Ooh, that looks smooth and sweet. To be fair, everything looks really weird under a microscope. It's like fascinating. It looks like a different universe. It's kind of astounding. A schizophrenic patient's last drawing before doing the game over. That is horrifying. That is horrifying. It's such a simple painting, but it has so much emotion in it and none of the emotions are good. So apparently this following sign was found in a psychologist's office. So let's look at it together, shall we? Are you dreaming? Find a mirror, stand in front of it, look at your face in the mirror. Do you look different? What do you mean? What would be in place? What, what would be there instead of my face? Oh my god, can you imagine that? You just walk around your house and then you decide to check the mirror and be like, Oh yeah, that's a squid or whatever. It's 
Holy shit! A restraining device used to immobilize infants during circumcision. That looks... That looks awful. Not my gumdrop buttons! Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like a cookie form, doesn't it? This looks like something for Christmas. When you bake the gingerbread men, make sure to strap them down when they come to life so you can eat them before they run away. Follow Click Cooking for more tips. <laughs> A four-year-old boy named Bobby Dunbar disappeared while on a trip with his family. Eight months later, they found him and reunited him with his family, and they lived out the rest of their lives together. Nearly a hundred years later, DNA evidence proved that the boy rescued was not Bobby Dunbar. Did they just kidnap another random child to, like, solve the situation? I remember reading something like this, but a more recent story where there was a missing child and the cops, like, picked up another child and gave it to the lady and she was like this is not my kid and I, yeah no it is your kid and it was so freaking weird this is this the same kind of thing maybe he was too young to like really protest or maybe he was like an orphan or homeless or something he's just like oh they think i'm the missing child all right i'm just gonna roll with this <laughs> you know that could also be it that is so wild so this is from a bus driver's terminal, I think. Service message, please confirm. 0621P, Clack Mass TC Buses. There is a white male, 40 years old, wearing a white shirt, black jeans, black tennis shoes at the Clackamassa TC main stop, the theater. He has some sort of infestation of bugs on his body. Do not board. What do you mean infestation of bugs? This is some kind of Last of Us stuff. Instead of it being moldy mushrooms and stuff, it's just, oh. It's just bugs. Your body slowly transforms into a horde of cockroaches. So, like, after a while, it's just your clothes being carried around by cockroaches. Isn't that just dandy? Kill every buffalo you can. Every buffalo dead is an Indian gone. The American bison is the new U.S. national mammal, but its slaughter was once seen as one of the ways to starve Native Americans into submission. What the hell? What is the pile? Why are you proud of this? That is absolutely insane. Holy sh**. Yeah, no wonder it, it kind of got, like, wiped out. Jesus Christ, man. How many would this be? This is an insane... This is like a million skulls. That is nuts. So this is like an old cartel house, I believe. And it's booby-trapped. This is like one of those Skyrim booby traps. It's like a string and it comes down from the ceiling and just stabs your face. It's like a duct-taped ice pick. Oh my god, that is so brutal. Holy, yeah, you would strike you right in the face. Or maybe in the throat, depending on how tall you are. Both are pretty bad, to be honest. I'm kind of I'm happy the Skyrim is made like falling rocks and stuff. That feels less stabby. Sheesh. In 2006, a man in Portland, Oregon, hired a hitman to kill his 51-year-old wife, Susan. She ended up killing the hitman with her bare hands. When she had her hands on his neck, she asked him, Tell me who sent you here and I will call you an ambulance! Oh my god! Can you imagine that if you are the husband and you hear back and be like, Nah, your your wife uh, captured, tortured the hitman until he revealed you were the one who sent it, and then killed the hitman. Good luck! <laughs> I mean, karma, but like, oh my god, what a terminator. In the basement of my Airbnb, is that just a dried piece of meat? It looks like dirt. Why is there a coat hanger? It's attached to. This is super weird. I mean, I've seen some Airbnb stuff, but this is like some cursed kind of stuff. My spine! I went in for surgery at 5'10". Came out 6'2". I'm supposed to be 6'7". Oh my god, what happened? That looks so off. No! My neighbor has been spraying raid into my bedroom window. You can see her staring through the fence. Oh yeah, you can kind of see her little eyeball there to the right, I think, right? I, th I think that's where she is. That is, uh, that's terrifying. Why in the frick is she spraying raid into your bedroom window? Uh, watched it for context. Basically, her brothers and cousins were playing in the yard and got too close to her fence. Allegedly tried to climb it. And she came out with a bat. <laughs> Another time, her BF smoked weed in the backyard and she complained about it and that she's allergic. IG, it's retaliation. And in the videos, the old lady is just spraying it right over the fence for a solid 10 seconds. Lamau, no bugs to be had. Oh yeah, your kids are playing too close to your fence? Better bring out the poison. As if, like, running out with a bat isn't enough. That's a really weird reaction to, like, kids in your neighborhood playing. Better bring out the bat and the poison. She's just a nice little shadow and all. Look at those intense eyes. Oh, baby, your eyes are like flowers. Literally. 
Police are searching for a religious healer who reportedly convinced a pregnant woman hammering a two-inch nail into her skull would give her a son. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds pretty freaking wild. It must be a very magical nail. This doesn't sound like healing. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you know how to heal this? You know how to fix your body? Smack a piece of metal into it. <laughs> That'll do it. What a rip current looks like. So here you can see the current of water just sucking out through the waves. This is actually kind of good. This is educational. But man, that is horrifying. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to hop into a container full of glass? No? Well, now the idea is planted in your head. Here is what it would look like. Mm, look at that. Isn't that just pleasant? This makes my this makes my skin crawl in a very unique way. Oh, honey. Yes, indeed, Click. Let's go out and eat and have a break from the video. Sounds great, Click. Let's go. Audrey, let's go eat fish. Oh, look at this fish. That is very fresh. Mmm, protein. You know the protein is fresh when your food munches back at you. I mean, I usually go to a restaurant to bite other things, not to be bitten. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. A danger! Never open this door after dark. Always look before you open the door. Your life could depend on it. And it is open. Oh, so many dead people. Speaking of open doors, oh my god, what happened here? This looks like one of those superhero movies when someone's been busting through walls. What the, what could do this? Oh, maybe, actually, maybe this is from like a, like a swatting or something. You know, when they bring the little, little handheld uh, door slammer that a few people hold and like, bring the door down. That could actually be it. That might be quite likable, because it because it doesn't look like there's a big vehicle or something that has busted through here. It would be a wider gap. So maybe that's it. What do you think in the comments? Let me know. We hired a chimney specialist today, and they found this. They said, uh, well, that's a first. Is that a walkie-talkie that is taped so it would transfer audio? Did you have a stalker that, like, climbed on top of your house and put a microphone in your chimney so they could spy on your conversations? That is, like, so creepy and kind of old-fashioned, right? Right? Out of all the ways to spy on conversation, I imagine there are better ways than, like, <laughs> chimney walkie-talkies, no? That is wild. I've never heard of that. This rotted 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles actor suit. I, uh, I can smell this. I, I can feel a smell coming through the screen. No, 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 no. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man! We are uh, we are one small step away from uh, Terminator Apocalypse. Oh, what a delight! Board games turned into horror movies. Hungry, hungry hippos. They are hungry. Honestly, this would kind of work. Hippos are terrifying powerhouses. So this would this would be a good horror movie. Yeah, I like this. Please make this. Operation coming soon. Oh, oh gee. Okay, that's good. Is it also like a kid doing the operation? Let's see if we can figure out how to put the heart back, mister. Please, Timmy, no. You know, arriving soon. Pray for a reversal. Oh, it's like you know about summoning demons? That sounds amazing. And if you fail at it, then if you lose, it sucks your soul down. But if you win, you banish the demon. That sounds amazing. It sounds like an Ouija, Ouija, Ouija board. Yeah, Ouija spinoff. Ouija, Ouija spin up. There we go. Words are hard. Choose wisely. Your life depends on it. Shoots and ladders. Are those, are those blades in the slide? Evil lurks beneath. Don't break the ice. Coming soon. Ooh, it's just eyeballs and tentacles. Everything I love. The ultimate choice! Guess who? And then if you get it wrong, they get smorgasboarded into that little snacker machine and turn into Swedish meatballs. <sighs> Isn't that beautiful? Mm, Ikea. From the producers of The Strangers, whatever you do, don't wake daddy. Wait, what's wrong with daddy? Why does daddy look zombified? Oh, uh, what? what? Timmy, no. A film by Tim Burton, Candyland, coming soon. This is all absolutely horrifying. This kind of stuff you buy on accident for your kids, and you accidentally traumatize them. <laughs> it's like, oh, this looks like an innocent movie. It has the same title as Hungry Hungry Hippos, and this is a super gory, like, jaw spin-off, but with hippos. <laughs> oh, here's a picture. Oh, yeah, I know this guy. It's it's the mass murder, and he's posing with a couple of guards. I think it was, like, 6'9 tall and weighed, like, 300 pounds. 
Imagine standing next to this dude and smiling. I, I guess they felt safe? I would always be looking over my shoulder. I think based on a Netflix show, this guy is so kind and likable. It's very easy to forget he was a serial killer. Mindhunter on Netflix has a startling portrayal of Kemper. Oh yeah, it was Kemper, that's the name, by Cameron. These interview scenes are nearly verbatim from the actual interview tapes. I know a prison guard that knew him. He said when he saw Mindhunter, the hair stood up on his neck because the portrayal was so spot on. It's too bad that they canceled it. I remember those interviews from the series. It's super eerie because like the, the guards don't reply to the interviewees. Like when, when they're interviewing him, the interviewer like presses the button and no one comes. It's like someone is away or AFK or something like that. And, and the guy is just like, you know, I could kill you before anyone got in here, right? And it's just like, it's so tense. It is so freaking tense. Oh my god! So someone told this girl that the kneecaps look like baby faces, so they just glued limbs on their leg, and it looks like a baby coming out of the knee. That is so good! That is so good, I love that! Oh my god, it's horrifying, but I love it! He's just owning it! That is so beautiful! A basement wall of a home for sale in my neighborhood. Only two families have occupied this residence since 1817. Watch a place like this doing to a nice girl like you! Is this just what angsty teenager songs were about in 1817? <laughs> when you hear a bang and discover an aircraft engine lodged in the wall of your house. But how did it get there? Did an airplane fall apart and just drop an engine? Is that what? How? Sandpaper floor on rotation in like a glass cage. Oh my god, it's definitely not the worst, but I've been tooling around with the idea of a torture method where the victim is placed naked in a metal room with a rough grit sandpaper conveyor belt floor. The idea is the floor is moving very slowly, but 24-7. The victim would have to walk constantly to avoid being scraped. Eventually, they would tire and pass out, but the conveyor would pin them against the wall and start scraping their flesh. This would wake them up and keep them in agony until they bleed out days later or something. That is an awful method. Oh my god. And like that intense fear that you're getting more and more tired and you know you can't keep up with it forever even though it's slow. That is absolutely terrifying. Will there be a way around this? Like can you roll around while sleeping or something like that? Just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, just spending some time in the seal tank today. Oh, look at that. I just love being T-post by a seal. That's not unnerving at all. Stop! Ski area boundary. Non-survivable extreme winter terrain down this drainage. Hike back up. It's only return ski area. You will die if you do not return to ski area. I mean, it is a very convincing sign. Some people, especially tourists, are very silly when it comes to stuff like that. It's dangerous here. <laughs> How bad can it be? Death. This at least uh, gives you an honest heads up. Chinese ghost city. Huge skyscraper areas that no one lives in. That is so eerie. That is so many apartments, so much space that is just empty. It would be so cool to go on like a tour in a place like this. Or maybe it's overrun by either wild animals or like, I don't know, drug cartels. I have no idea, but it would be kind of cool. Just like take a tour of a ghost town. That sounds amazing. Or you can roleplay like apocalypse stuff. You can literally do like, I don't know, an airsoft roleplay of DayZ here. Just running around and pretend it's an apocalypse. That'd be kind of cool. Going like a week camp and just, here's what it would be like. If, if humanity died out and you were one of the few survivors. That's kind of an experience, isn't it? That's kind of a business idea. Hell yeah! My hotel window on the 8th floor has a window that opens from the bottom and opens up far enough to fall through the frame. Who designed this? This cannot pass review! What kind of standards did the engineers have? This is awful! Bodies on Everest. One flag equals one body. Here's the death zone. 8,000 meters. The amount of oxygen in the atmosphere is insufficient to sustain human life. An extended stay in the zone without supplementary oxygen will result in deterioration of bodily functions, loss of consciousness, and ultimately death. Summit, 8,848 meters. Hillary Step, 8,790 meters. A nearly vertical rock face. The last real challenge before reaching the top of the peak. Oh my god, that is so intense. I mean, I've heard stories about it. I think they actually forbade people from taking pictures of the bodies because of respect. But there are some bodies that are so notorious. I remember hearing stories about it that there is a lady up there, I think, who's like frozen in place. So she literally looks at people that come close, essentially, because she's just frozen in place like that. Super eerie. Uh, probably not a challenge I would partake in in life. I, uh, no, 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 thank you. Joseph Goebbels, after realizing that the cameraman filming him was a Jew. 
No, 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 time, time, time to go home early for the day. That, that's not, that's, oh, oh, God, that's so angry. What year was this? What year, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, is that a tall man? No, wait a second. Zoom in a bit. It's just two trees and like a satellite disc on the roof. That looked like a super tall slender man thing. That is so scary. This is the kind of stuff you spook yourself with in the middle of the night. Have you ever done that when you have like a jacket or something on top of a chair and then you have like, I don't know, a ball or a light or something on the table behind it and you like wake up a bit in the middle of the night and be like, why is there a dude in my bedroom? And then you slowly like remember that, oh no, it's just a jacket, it's fine. <laughs> r slash oddly terrifying. Mushrooms growing off of a stuffed bear. Ah! Oh my god, what, what kind of Last of Us shite is this? Oh, it's so gross. It's so sticky and moist. And here's a picture of what it looked like first. I think I had one of these bears when I was a kid. And this is what it looks like with- Oh. Gah. Well, that is definitely an alternative to The Last of Us. Just like stuffed animals being corrupted by mushrooms and starting to walk like- oh. No, Teddy, please. Civilians taking care of zoo animals in their own homes during World War II. That doesn't look safe. Is this actually what what they did? Is this a thing? That is wild. This is, isn't this bird like super like the claws and you know the, the murder machines? No. Okay. Arm caked with wood dust, but looks disturbing. Oh yeah, it looks like you're being petrified. It looks like you're turning into stone and cracking. This is a Medusa kind of stuff. A better finances. No! Drivers with no DUI born before 1997 get a big payday sponsored. Why did you use this picture? Is this just like an AI generation of like blonde girls screaming at protest? Is that what this is? This is like what this is so uncanny valley. This must be AI made, right? This is so weird. <laughs> what is this? This is this just a toy that's being washed? It looks like there's a really happy alien that accidentally broke into your washing machine. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. I love that one. Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed yourself and is absolutely petrified by being here today. Remember to kiss your emotional support demon goodnight so they suck up all of them bad thoughts. And have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care.